disculpa, fala inglés un poquito. Uh, me gusta tu estilo, muy uh, bueno. Uh, yo no hablo mucho portugués, inglés o español. Uh, pero tú uh, uh, entiende. Sí, sí, sí. Ok, ok. Uh, pero no inglés. Yo soy de Roma. Tú, uh, inglés. Ok. Yeah, I, I wanted to say hello because your style is very nice. Thank you. Okay. Oh, you understand. That's good. That's a good start. Uh, you're, you're from here, Brazilian. Yes, from Pinas. Pinas, uh, a different city. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm. F can you can you tell where I'm from? Do you know? Um, a no any guess? Uh, okay, England. 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 Yeah, uh, so Europe. Far from I know. I know. I had to swim all the way here. I'm so tired now. <laughs> I swim. I swim just to meet you. I hope you appreciate this. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Um, it was a long flight, and there was a baby screaming in the in the seat behind me. Uh, oh. So it was a it was a very tough flight, but I managed to come. Oh, um, you are right today? No, no, I, I work uh, remotely, so I, I work on the internet, and I do courses for helping people, uh, that kind of thing. Oh, yeah. So nice. What do you two do? I'm a psychologist. Psychologist. Uh -huh. oh, okay. And you? Student. Oh, student. Oh, both psychologists. Yes. This is very scary. You're gonna, you're gonna read my mind. <laughs> no. I, I'm very, I'm very afraid now. No, no. Maybe you, you know what I'm thinking. No. Sabes lo que estoy pensando no. todo el tiempo. Ah, okay. Pero eso es lo que hacen los. Um, we can read the mind. You can't read. Okay. I am safe. That's good. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. Are safe. So, what, what are you doing today? Just shopping. Yeah, just walking. Typical Brazilian thing to do yeah. on a Saturday. Yeah. Very relaxed. Yeah. So I'm not used to this culture because I'm from London. London, everything's so busy. People have to go uh, somewhere very quickly and do a lot of things, uh, you know, very quickly, fast all the time. So it's nice to be here where everything is more relaxed. Yeah, in Brazil, yeah. we just like a little time on the day. Just relax. Yeah. Take some, I don't know, take a car. Do some samba. Yeah. Do you do you guys do samba? No, no. No. no? Oh, okay. That's that's my stereotype of what Brazilians do on a Saturday afternoon. Yeah. Maybe this is incorrect. Yeah, it's just like a little, just, a just a tiny bit off. Oh. Yeah. I've I've only been here a couple of weeks, so I'm still getting used to it. But I I, I spent a lot of time in Latin America before. You know uh, Mexico, uh, Mexico. Yeah, I was living there for like five months, six months. So Did it's you nice. Like it? Yeah, it's really nice, really nice. Uh, you know Playa del Carmen? Sorry, I don't know. Do you know Playa del Carmen? No. Oh, it's a nice little place in Mexico. Uh, so yeah, I, I want to uh, explore more of uh, Brazil, but I don't have time. I have to go probably in like next week, Brazil which is a shame. A really, yeah. really nice country. Have really beautiful things to do. Yeah. I know. I've, I've only really spent time here, which is like a, you know, it's like an urban jungle. It's very city. Uh, but yeah, I'd like to explore more of the countryside. Um, you know, different parts of Brazil, Rio, that kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. And you? Have you been to Europe or to England? No. Never been. Oh, I, you're missing I will out. Go to Italy next month. Oh, okay, Italy. And you? You've never. Never. Let's go now. <laughs> We can go next week on my plane back. <laughs> no, it's too soon. I need to get to know you first, at least. Yeah. Um, do you do you have uh, Instagram or? Yes. Okay, I'll get your Instagram. If you wanna uh, type it in. Do you like it in Sao Paulo? Do yeah. you, you like it here? Yeah. Is it, do you have a lot of things to do for fun? Or is it more chill? There, there is a lot of things to do uh, all day and all night. Yeah. The city is never sleeps. Yeah. yeah, I noticed because in my apartment outside there's parties all the time. <laughs> uh, in London it's similar as well. Similar. Really? Yeah, like there's always something to do in London, but it's very expensive. Uh, but everybody likes London, you know, when they visit. For us, in Sao Paulo, it's very expensive too. Yeah. In Brazil. Yeah, yeah. But that's the economy. Yeah. It's, it'll get better, hopefully. Yeah. Anyway, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Take care. Bye. So here you can see me approaching these two girls in Brazil. 
and uh, you'll notice that they weren't really speaking that much and it's sometimes easy to kind of confuse that with just them not being very interested but actually the reality is is that they just weren't really used to speaking English or maybe that their English isn't that great uh, so it would have been easy for me to just be like okay fine they're not interested just leave after like 30 seconds or a minute or so but actually it's it's one of those cases where you just have to have that intuition to realize that actually it is worth pursuing a bit more because it wasn't like they're not interested because you can kind of see from like their eye contact and their body language that they were giving me their full attention and they were kind of intrigued by the situation at the very least so yeah they were basic i just took that as them just being interested and yeah and it being a good one so <clears throat> yeah just carry on basically and of course you know i'm doing like 90 percent of the talking um, the one that I was actually going for, which was the one on the left, she she said like almost nothing, which um, is not ideal most of the time because it's kind of like me sort of having a conversation just with her friend. You know, her friend was asking questions and that kind of thing. Um, but still, like even if that's how the interaction ends up being, that's actually okay because you know if you're interacting with her friend and the one you're actually interested in isn't really saying anything that's fine because she's still listening in you're still displaying social proof the fact that you can communicate well even if even if it's just with her friend and therefore she you know she'll find you at least intriguing and you know potentially quite attractive um you know especially when she speaks to her friend afterwards and they discuss me and that kind of thing which is basically what happens you know whenever you leave a group interaction the first thing they're going to speak about is you they're going to discuss you and what they thought about it and all of this kind of stuff so that's why, you know, whenever it comes to kind of group uh, interactions, you know, you, if you do them well, then it can really, really put you in a really good light because uh, it, it can just display, you know, good communication skills, the fact that you can handle a group and um, yeah, it displays massive social proof and social awareness. If you can master that, then it really puts you in a good light and it'll make you actually even more attractive. Um, so yes, one thing I could have actually done was potentially, you know, call it out a little bit more. So like, you know, the fact that the girl I was interested in wasn't really saying anything, I could have maybe called it out a bit. I could have just said, oh, maybe you're shy or, um, you know, how is your English, something like that. Um, and that would maybe basically just kind of call it out a bit and maybe, you know, make it, it could potentially ease the pressure on her a little bit because um yeah it, it would at least sort of call out the situation and I, I know a bit more what's what's going on and that kind of thing but it's not that necessary you know the fact that i'm just speaking with a friend is okay um because she's still listening in and even if her english is not the best you know there's still some things that she'll be able to notice even in spite of not speaking the language very well so she'll see the confidence she'll see the social skills uh, she'll, she'll see the value, she'll see that I'm able to, you know, speak confidently with her friend and so therefore she'll find that, you know, potentially attractive because, um, yeah, it's, it's showing social awareness and show, social skills in general. But yeah, the main thing really is whenever you are speaking to a girl like this and she's not really giving you much in terms of like the verbal side of things but she's still giving you a lot of eye contact and she's still, you know, uh, giving you positive body language, then just carry on. Just, just, you know, just keep talking. Just try your best, try and engage them a little bit. You know, you notice I actually did uh, ask the one I was interested in a few things in the hopes that she would actually maybe understand a little bit. Um, so yeah, you just have to keep plowing on and don't just make, just because it's a little bit awkward and just because you're doing 90% of the talking doesn't mean that it's so bad and that it's like, it's never, that's a complete failure, it's never going to go anywhere. You just have to keep plowing on um, and, and just try your best, you know, especially with the ones that don't speak English, which is, you know, you'll, you'll encounter this even in places like London, even in New York, places like that, you'll, you'll find this kind of thing, you know, you'll find girls that don't speak English. And it's very, very, very easy just to be, look at it and be like, oh, can't be bothered with this, or oh, she's not, it's never going to work, or it's not going to go anywhere. But actually, those ones oftentimes tend to be the best ones anyway, because, you know, they might be new in the city, don't know that many people, willing to meet new people. You know, that's perfect for day game, basically. So just something to bear in mind. Cheers for watching. If you'd be interested in one-to-one -one coaching with me, where we'll go out in public and work on your approaching girls, or more generally with your social confidence, please visit my website ed-game.com.